Greetings everyone, this is BJ Black from No Export For You and welcome to part 113 of my Let's Play of Amayui Castle Meister. Today we get to explore a new map. There are a couple of resources that haven't been revealed to us. And a couple new enemies we'll be seeing. But, let's get to it. First new enemy. This is the Nemiru Yuichiri, or Type 2 Yuichiri, basically. There are a couple of those. What was the other thing? Oh yeah, trees with leaves. Boy, isn't that a scary face it's making. It's interesting that these enemies are level 35 because most of mine are level 31. With one level 30. Hmm. Just thinking about how I'm going to do this gives me a headache. Now, let's zoom out a bit. This map is a bit of a pain because of these vortexes all out in the water, where I'll need flying or some kind of water traverse. I would like to send you out first, but this Yuichi in the way has anti-air, which will knock down all of his health in about three turns. I think I'll run him along the south edge of the map. Other than that, the only ones that should attack him will be the water spirits that will come out occasionally. And the first big problem is dealing with those storm dragons. But let's just move in and move out. I'd like to stick to my level 31 characters to give them a chance to level up naturally, right? But it won't be very easy sometimes. Parts of this. Let me guess, Rosaline has the Suima shield on, and I already moved her. Well, I can put it on Mikeu next turn. That should do it. Our first dragon will attack the nearest character, which will be Kisnir here, with a fire attack that will wipe most of his health out. Well, a narrow majority of it, at least. Well, at least Yorin has the ton of life. Yorin, punch this Nemiru Yuichiri for me. No, punch, that's these. I'd say that, I gotta say that's pretty cute. Kinda looks like a swimsuit. No, it's capture it with Fia. No. That's right. She has a mercy ring on. We don't want that. We want fool mail. Hey! 
And at this point, I should give up on more experience for Fia. But here we have our first kill with that fortune teller's tent in our castle. It gives us two of both of the things we would have gotten. The full mill gave us, gave us uh, one of each, and because we had that tent, we got two of each. Hey, red liquid! It is surprisingly hard to find liquids in colored liquids in this game. Hmm, ow. Oh, that's right. I wanted to swap the... swim my shield onto Mikeu. And Detail has a full meal. Why does Detail have a full meal? Oh yeah, that's because he killed Gaidal. Well, that was worth it. But first things first, let's wear this guy down some. Not going to work. Oh, this is a new enemy too. Let's see him. Um, I'm underwhelmed by this. But uh, good job, uh, Ranarin, and all. Hmm, mythical beast claws. Ah, nuts. Alright, I'll take the goddess card. Seven color mushroom. I can use that for certain potions and whatnot. Otherwise, pretty useless. Oh, guess what? The storm dragon went up to a fire elemental. Not so smart, does it? Not so smart as that. Here. Oh, jeez. I hate area of effect attacks. I got four magical beast fangs off of that guy. Fine, whatever. Oh. And all of these enemies ignore you. Favor instead to go after people they can hurt, actually. Hmm. Alright, it's not much, but it's something. Defense, defense. More life. 
Good enough. And that means Yorin is done as far as experience goes. Until more of my characters get... I know. Ruin is going to park on that thing and fight those monsters until he levels up. And then I'll move on to my next level 31 character. Well, this is a bit risky, but... Katorito will do. Oh man, another level up. I have to swap someone out. That means that's everybody. Okay, level 32 is okay. Hmm. Well. Now those trees do a decent dam amount of damage to Kiesner, but she absolutely cuts them up. Or should I say cuts them down? Ha! Oh yes, I said that the water elementals would attack you. Now these mollusks here don't give much experience, but the um, the monk girls. Well, how nice. You'd think that Ruderin would have something to say there. Anyway, these girls give a lot of age of experience, however. Nada, nada. There we go, another level 32. She's not usually going to be doing a lot of tanking, but in this case, I think I'll have her. That's some pretty good stuff she's got to, to play with, though. Hmm. Thanks to this set of equipment, she's a bit weak against physical attacks, but not very much. This should work. Aren't you happy you? You found someone to play with. Blue liquid. That's almost all of my level 31 characters then.
blue liquid. But I'm still glad to get blue liquid. Because blue liquid means to me. Healing potions. Specifically big ones. Hmm. Nah. This is Katharita we're talking about. We shouldn't give her a bunch of... We shouldn't subject her to a bunch of risks. Oh, that went well. I'll move here. I could have captured that leaf there. But I want to be in range of that... Undine. So they won't head towards Catorito. You need the experience considerably more, after all. Oh, you... Fine, you want me to walk over there and fight you? I'll walk over there and fight you. But I'll tell you... Katorito with her skill of... Uh, it's called hard worker. She earns experience so fast. But of course, only in this one form. Oh, goody. What I actually want from these Yuichiris is actually the Yuichiri honey. Perfect. Great. Not perfect, but great. Huh. Four elastic vines. But that's good. I have a regular way of using them. The interesting thing about these three... Um, what do I want to call these? Uvenus? Whatever. Improved Treants. Is that those three will just stand there. Until they're injured. Huh. Level 31 is only running. Hmm. Well, I guess she can start attacking those guys. May as well, right? Yeah, and once she's done with that, she'll head to the other basket of enemies. You'll be fine right there, Katarito. You know, I've got some space to deploy extra characters. I think I'll deploy... Where is she? Mikshuana. She can fly over the lake and start sealing those vortexes up while you is trying to kill those Undine for her experience. Won't work. Oh boy. Well, it's a living. Come to think of it, I should pull Varo out. You know what? I've changed my mind about sending her on into the last nest. I'll send Rosaline like I did in my trial run. Hmm. Is 
Oops. This would be a bad idea, so I'm not going to do it. Just waiting for me inside. Like I said, those give so much experience. And now that we've injured this one, it comes walking over. Oh, now it will fight me. Like, melee. I should replace someone, Katharito, with someone the lower level now. Oh yes, you're here to heal Ronin. Hmm. I better heal Kisner. Could put on the fire claw here, get some free damage in. Hmm. And that's all the experience he gets for killing one of them. In spite of being, what, five levels above him? <sighs> Some enemies are just like that. Mm-hmm. Wait, do those suckers have regeneration? Yes, they do. They gain 13 life per turn. This could take a while. Okay, from this point on, I think Mikshuan will be drawing most of these lakes fire. So once this enemy is dead, I'll have Katarito return to the base. Good. I hate that attack so much. Another level up for Gatorito. There's no end to it. Alright. Kisnir, soften this sucker up. But not too much. And then Mikayu will finish it off for 
Oh, take it and shove it. Not fair. So I have one weapon equipped, then it does one thing, and if I have another weapon equipped, it does another thing. That's a bad idea. Well. Yeah, see what it did there? When I have the fire sword, it doesn't do a counterattack. Instead, Kisner gets to kill it. With the weak sword, it gets an extra attack. Hmm. No, it actually has a range attack. No, I'm not using my range attack. 3 times 23. So unfair. Ah, I know. That's more like it. Okay, physical attack. Well, luck is good anyway. I got four ripe apples. I'm going to start stabbing people. Mikshon has a surprisingly small choice of weapons. Ooh, nice. Physical attack, magic end, physical defense, and speed. Now everybody's level 32 except for you. Get with the program, will you? Okay, I've always healed up. Oh, nuts. Wanted to grab the Suima shield off of Miku before I sent Rosaline in. So I guess it'll wait another turn. Now, you can see I opened up a secret room with a bunch of Yuichiri in it. Fortunately, Avaro has great earth defense. And not so bad physical defense. So he'll be able to take it pretty well. Pretty well. Okay, very well. So these are Nimiru Yuichiri, the Type 2. And the only one we will see of this, the Nilo Yuichiri. 
or type 3 UTDs. You may note that it resembles... What was it? The Dark Victim Queen? For lack of a better term. Alright. Unequip that shield. Rosanine needs it. Oh, right. Bad animations. Oh, yes. I'm going to improve Rosaline's armor because she gets to stand in the middle of enemies with decent physical attacks. I've already used stay out of sight. Please, if you're going to be the only thing that you can meaningfully interact with, at least give more experience. <sighs> and the reason I picked Rosaline is to come in here and wipe these girls out in a reasonable amount of time. Probably be done at the end of next turn. Oh, do you want some of this too? Rosaline's got plenty for everyone. Yeah, a lot of my guys have just the easiest time getting level ups and others, it just never happens for them. No, please kill it. Yes! And that's a level up. This is I'm going to stab something. That's a rare drop. And I think it's valuable for something, but it's not the rare drop that I want. Okay. Do I have a Yui key that needs... Surprisingly, Kaurin is actually a bit low on experience. But he'll get plenty of opportunity. Rudin! Oh, why not? Now, if I could pull Mikshuana back at this point, I probably would because she's going to end up with too much experience.
Magic attack. That's good. Another rare drop that I don't actually want. This is actually a four spirits bow. I think it's something I could make. You know, if I had the materials. I haven't up to this point, but I think I could. Uh, no Yuichiri honey for me. Oh, you know the drill, Yorin. Punch this thing until it falls down. Oh, jeez. Alright, thanks for everything, Ronin. Actually, kiss near. Park yourself on that leaf. If these two get levels fast enough, you can get your level up after them. Actually, he looked kiss now. She needs it. Hell, why not? This tramp probably won't last very long, but perhaps Kisner will get the finishing blow on it. Okay, fire sword. This should do it. Ha, awesome. Hmm, may as well. Now I diverted you over here specifically to kill one of these girls so that he could finally get his first level up. And now he's only behind everybody by one level. Oh, a flaming twin shield. All right. Now.
どんどん行こう行くぜ。All right, time to start sending people back to base. <sighs> okay, maybe next time. Seats, shimasu. Ouch again. Dondo, I go. Much better. And get Mikshuana away from that Undine, eh? A fatigue potion, large. Ooh, looks like there's a gate back here. And yeah, in the gallery, waterfall. Labyrinth, there's a new map we can visit after this one. The Cave of Indigo Tears. Well, interesting. But to be hiding a cave behind the waterfall? How lame. So once we get the chance, we'll come and explore it. I, would, I hope it has the enemy I need to find in it. Or one of the enemies I need in it. Woohoo! Control! Oh great. Another water spirit. Okay, pro tip, Mikshuana can't fight those things. Did I just get 25 blue seeds? Well, probably. It's a water snow ball. It seems like some kind of white glass ball to him. And Avaro can feel spiritual power in it just a bit. Come to think of it, we were told that the Fuchsia of Faith had investigated this place. Maybe these items have some connection with the fuchsia. Hmm? And this is a god's wing. 
So we've gotten our hands on something unusual. Something rare. So what is this? Wings? Apparently they're shining with a bit of magic. It kind of resembles the blue light that comes from the God's Haze. So with the particular characteristic of the water around here, these things, these wings or whatever they are, are called God's Echo Wings. Great. Well, they're pretty, so let's see if we can't use it for something. And those are our secret materials that weren't listed, were listed as question marks when we looked at the map. Hmm. Actually. Lightning shards. Oh, that's the only one of those left. So I'm about done once I collect this plant. Alright, that's that. Whew. So we got some more of the God's Echo Wings. We could have gotten some of the <laughs> snow crystals. I'll call them snow crystals. But anyway. Now we can see they're listed in here properly. It doesn't look like anything special here. Weird. There's some angels in this place. Not really what I'm looking for, but... Well, we'll visit. Yeah, I supposedly got a bunch of... What are they? Blue seeds. Yes, I did. Yes. Mm. I wonder. No. I didn't get any green liquid that time. Oh man. Take off for one stars and all I've got are four stars. Feels like such a waste. But that was six more speed for Karin. Uh, so if I captured eight of these Nidoyuichiri, one per visit to that map, I could get him his final skill in that tree. Oh, you bitehead bugger bastards. So now that we've gotten her all of these first set, she gets the double move if I can find a five star for her to eat. How unreasonable. Boy, they did give us a lot of four-star enemies in there, though. That's odd. Or maybe they didn't... Maybe I only saw one. Oh, ha ha ha. 
これでいいかしら成長したみたいよ OK then. またいずれね。So that'll handle that. Kisner has something at the gate, does she? Well, that will have to wait for next time. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.